Other people see a different side, but they're living and breathing the experience of breast cancer. So for them, they've had to see me probably in my hardest and darkest times, but they've also been able to support me and give me a lot of love and it's brought us closer together. Telling dad was really hard because I didn't want to upset him. It was really hard for him to watch his wife go through breast cancer and pass away, so I didn't want him to have to go through it all again with his youngest daughter. Without my wife, without my daughter, I wouldn't be here. I would, I would have given up. It's just a hard, hard, hard road. They've just been so good to me without them. I would not be here. I keep saying that and it's a fact of life. I would not be here. So, sorry. I had to just release her into the hands of my family and my closest friends and just ask them to look after her as much as there were times that I really needed her. I knew that I couldn't because she already had so much to do with, with year 12 exams and her own journey. I don't know what I'd do without Phyllis in my life. It just, she's an absolute pillar of strength to me and you know, she cried with me, she laughed with me. We, you know, we just went through all the motions together and um, yeah, it just made it okay. And I just keep, I honestly, like throughout the whole thing, I just, my, I just thought, aren't I lucky I've got this support network?